So how you doing on those New Year's resolutions? Are some of you beating yourself up yet? I know that we can fail at them and we just kind of give up and, you know, some of us are struggling so hard to please God. And we do want to please God. He saved us. He loved us, loves us. He died on the cross for us so that we could have eternal life. We, of course, we want to serve him. For the Christian, they want to serve the Lord Jesus. But we beat ourselves up because I'm not sure if we fully grasp his love for us. You know, tomorrow is Epiphany, January 6th. It's known as the coming of the wise men. Epiphany means revelation, a manifestation. Something is made known. I want to make known to you the love of God. Now you're thinking, Pastor, I already know God loves me. Do you? Then why are you afraid of him? Why are you wondering if your sins are going to keep you out of heaven? Why are you struggling to really grasp his love for you? You know, it says in 1 John 3, Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us, that we should be called the children of God. And that is what we are. I absolutely love that verse. We are God's children. He created us. He made us. Have you ever known somebody that's pretty proud of something they make? Or that they made? You know, at Christmas time, we have under our tree a manger that my dad built. I'm pretty proud of that. My dad made that manger. What are you proud of? Have you made something in your life? You're pretty proud of it. You're like, wow, with my own hands, I made that. I built that. I created that. I designed that. God created you. He designed you. He made you. He breathed into you the breath of life. Does that sound like a God who's angry with you? Now, of course, sin separates us from God. Sin angers him, but he still loves you. So he came in the flesh to die for you. He revealed himself to the world as the true God. That is the revelation. He is the light shining in the darkness. He is the epiphany light. The wise men followed the star. Will you follow God's word? Will you grasp and, and, and keep it for yourself what it says in there that he loves you, that he cares for you? You know, I was reading a devotion from Graham Cook and he was talking about God's love for him and how it's really hard for us to really grasp it at times. But when we finally get it, look how he describes it. When I finally got it, when I at last understood that he would be the same towards me yesterday, today, and forever, it was like a huge weight came off my shoulders. I finally understood what real freedom was in Christ. It's the permission to be relentlessly loved, regardless of my performance as a Christian. I cried out of a deep sense of relief. Then I laughed. And I gave thanks, and I have been rejoicing ever since. That's what I want to do. I want to rejoice more. I want to get rid of the weight of my sin. And I want to bask in the love that God has for me. And I want to share that love with you today. Get rid of the weight of your sin. Take it to the cross. I know that your performance as a Christian hasn't been up to speed. That's what forgiveness is all about. And every day is a new chance to begin again. I love it. God loves us. When you believe in Jesus Christ, you are his child. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us. My friends, cry a little today as you grasp this thought. But then go and laugh and sing. Tell others of his great love. Show them the light that is shining in your life. This is Pastor John from the Branch. Have a great day.